Hi viewers, welcome back to Sparda Guru YouTube channel. I am your aptitude trainer. Today I am going to discuss on general aptitude questions. Let's get started. See the first problem. Income of a company doubles after every one year. If the initial income was rupees 4 lakh, what would be the income after 5 years? Here find out the value after one year. So initial amount is a 4 lakh. After one year, amount is going to double. So multiply with 2. Answer is 8 lakh. Now find out the income after 2 years. 4 into 2 to the power of 2. Here power is representing number of years. That equals 4 into 4, 16 lakhs. We are getting after 2 years. Now find out the income after 5 years. So 4 into 2 to the power of 5. 2 to the power of 5 value is 32. You are getting 128 lakhs after 5 years. But options are given in a gross. So convert 128 lakhs into gross. The value of a 1 lakh is equal to 0 0.01 crore. So multiply 128 with 0 0.01 crore. The answer is 1.28 crore. Option B is the right answer. See the second problem. On sports day, if 30 children were made to stand in a column, then 16 columns could be formed. If 24 children were made to stand in a column, then how many columns could be formed? First, find out the total number of a children. We already know total 16 columns are there. 16. Multiply with 30 because 30 children were made to stand in a column. So 16 into 30 is 480. Now, we have to find out the number of columns where 24 children are going to stand in each column. So, 480 divided by 24. 24 ones are 24, 20 is up. So, 20 columns are required where 24 children are going to stand in each column. Option A is the right answer. Now, we'll discuss on the third problem. The number of students in each section of a school is 24. After admitting new students, three new sections were started. Now the total number of sections is 16 and there are 21 students in each section. The number of new students admitted is. Original number of sections we have to find first. So now present 16 sections are there. So 16 minus 3 because after the new admission only 3 new sections were started. So minus 3 that is equal to 13 sections were there before the new admission. So we have to find next original number of uh, students. So total 13 sections were there multiply with 24. Each section consists 24 students. You will get 312. Now Total number of students, old students plus new admission students. So total 16 sections, each section consists 24 students. You will get 336. Now we have to find out the number of new students who are taken admission to that school. Subtract total number of students value with old original number of students value 312. That is equal to 24. So total 24 new students are admitted to the school. Option B is the right answer. Now I am going to discuss on the fourth problem. A class starts at 10 a.m. and lasts 1 hour 27 p.m. Four periods are held during this interval. After every period, five minutes are given free to the students. The exact duration of each period is. So here we have to calculate the one period duration. Before that, we have to find out the difference between the starting time to ending time. So difference is 3 hour 24 minutes. Here the time is taken 13 hour 27 minutes. For the 24 hour duration, after the 12 p.m., 1 o'clock is going to consider as a 13 p.m., 2 o'clock is going to consider as a 14 p.m. and so on. So, convert this hours into minutes. 3 hours into 60 minutes because 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes plus 
27 minutes. That is equal to 180 plus 27 minutes. That equals 207 minutes. This is the total time. Now, there is a break time after one period. So, after the first period, 5 minutes break. After the second period, again 5 minutes. And after the third period, again 5 minutes. Total 15 minutes break time is there. Now, calculate the remaining time except the break time. How total time? 207 minutes. Break time? 15 minutes. Subtract that break time. You will get 192 minutes. Now, find out the one period duration. Total 192 minutes for 4 periods. So, 4 ones are 4 48s are. So, 48 minutes duration is there for 1 period. Option B is the right answer. Now, we will see the last problem on this topic. A light was seen at interval of 13 seconds. It was seen for the first time at 1 hour 54 minutes 50 seconds a.m. And the last time at 3 hours 17 minutes 49 seconds a.m. How many times was the light seen? So first, find out the difference between the first time and the last time. So here you will get the answer 1 hour 22 minutes 59 seconds. Now find out the total time. Uh, just convert the total time into seconds. So, 1 hour into 16 minutes plus 22 minutes plus 59 seconds. So, 60 plus 22 is in the minutes plus 59 seconds. Again, 82 minutes multiply with 60 because 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds plus 59 seconds. So, total final answer is 4,979 seconds. Now, how many times the light seen? So, total 4,979 divided by 13 because the light was seen at the interval of 13 seconds. So, divide by 13 plus 1. Here, the time is more than 1 hour. 1 hour is equal to 3600 seconds. This is for 1 hour. So, now the seconds is more than 1 hour. So, that's why here we are adding 1. So, is equal to the answer is 384. So, 384 times the light C. So, option D is the right answer. So, these are some problems on general aptitude questions. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notifications. Thank you.